my brothers and sisters of the order, welcome back to the order, and welcome back to another how-to video. And today, y'all, we are getting into the infamous, well, 15th century of the Galaglass Levy. So, what was the Galaglass Levy at this point in time, you might ask? Well, the Galaglass Levy at this point in time were uh, pretty much starting to change in their equipment. Starting with the fact that, one, many of them started to wear the bassinet yet, but a lot of them were still wearing the old style Irish bow and helmet. And as well, mostly the armor they could afford was, well, as you see with this equipment here. Now, they could afford mail if they could, but the problem is, more than half the time they couldn't. So that's why most of them started to wear the Jack of Chains, which you will see me wear in this video. But the reason I'm not going to wear it is because one, it's uh, not exactly a proper Galaglass look, if you ask me. In fact, instead of buying mail mini Galaglass levy, what they did is they bought plate armor that was cheap to manufacture, such as that as gauntlets or arm guards, such as the jack chains and such, so it depended pretty much on the user. Me though, since I'm a new recruit, I want to get something that's a little more protective for my neck and my shoulders, so I'm going to use this. As well, the bassinet. This would have also been different. One major reason different compared to the other Galaglass is, one, it would have been of a lesser quality of steel, and in such, the helmet design itself is uh, very much different compared to that of what we can understand. So much so that, one, the Galaglass had different variations on their equipment. So, in other words, the actual Galaglass as we know about, the ones from the 15th century, they would have worn full shirts of mail, and this would have meant they could have bought actual working proper helmets compared to mine, which was probably made out of lesser quality gauge steel. So, yeah. Now, their axes all start to change. They start to use a two-handed axe a lot more on the battlefield. They get rid of mostly of their other melee combat weapons, such as uh, short swords and such, but the dark, or dark, start to get a lot longer compared to this. Now, this is the only one I got, but our account said state that they go up to about at least two feet long and have a needle-like blade, which is meant to get underneath and through the small links of mail like this. So, yeah, but depending on their use as well. They also started to majority use arrows like this. Now, these are modern-day arrows, but still. Uh, what people don't understand, though, is most Galaglass Levy did use archers. In fact, the majority of them, uh, the Galaglass Levy, were from Irish-born stock. In other words, they were homegrown in this area. So, guess what? They're going to end up pretty much using the equipment, that of which they're normally used for hunting. So, yeah. Uh, but, as well, I highly recommend also checking out Thane Thran's channel. His latest video came out, and I also did a reaction test also. So I highly recommend checking him out as well, because one, he does a great job showing the demonstration of the blows of a Sparfax. Especially with the downward, and as well the spiral chops. Yeah, just imagine me swinging that thing at your head. <laughs> oh, that's going to be kind of scary. Uh, but yeah. I highly recommend checking out his channel and help him out as much as y'all can. But why don't we get right into the video, shall we?
Well, now I hope you all liked that little bit of a rundown on the Gallo Glass Levy. Now, as you all saw, during the time of the 15th century or the 1400s, or as many people know it as the time of the War of the Roses, the Gallo Glass were highly prized and used throughout the entirety of Ireland, and as well, even used by Lannister and Yorkist forces. So we can pretty much see why and how the Gallo Glass started to evolve their equipment, especially knowing to that their helmets. Now, please stay tuned for when we do the 15th century Gallo Glass Noble, in which you will see that they actually take the whole new meaning of equipment. <laughs> but yeah, and soon we will get into the uh, 16th century or the last century of the Gallo Glass very soon. And you will see on how the Gallo Glass Levy changed to the form, they don't look like Gallo Glass anymore. They look more like Irish cards. So, yeah. So yeah, stay tuned for when we actually get into our next video. Hopefully we actually get this uh, already done within the month of September. Because I know one thing, my horror, order of horror channel uh, is probably going to be needing a lot of uh, videos out for that. Uh, but yeah. Anyways guys, like and subscribe, and as well, please help thank Thran as much as you can. I will also leave links down below on where you can help him, and as well, where you all can get this equipment I was using in this video, and as well his videos on his, the Sparthax I had sent him. And as well, he has actually gotten himself a set of mail and uh, leather equipment, that which was used probably by Irish Kearns at the time. So that way, it's the best material I could have come up with for it to send to him. Because one, it could cover the limbs and the body. So we're going to see what it could actually end up doing. So hopefully we actually see it soon. Uh, but yeah, if y'all want a variation of Irish Sparf like this, I will leave a link down below. As well, mainly from that of the one that I ended up getting for Thang Thran. So I highly recommend checking his channel out. Because this guy actually knows what he's how dangerous this weapon is just from the sheer blows of what it did to the decapitations of the heads that were rolling at the process and very soon he will be doing it on lake armor and such so hopefully soon we see that video as well uh, but yeah after end hopefully you're taking notes on these ones so yeah uh, but as well is most uh, Galagos as well or the uh, mantle piece like this so he might end up putting like that on there to see what happens to the neck and the head and such because one we got to see what happens when the spark goes up against the helmet so that's the biggest one I'd like to see and as well what happens to the limbs especially if they're wearing padded armor so hopefully y'all like and subscribe check out Thane Thran's channel and as well y'all if y'all have any warriors from history y'all want me to take a look at and well put them up for our own how-to videos please let me know in the comments below and also, uh, we will be doing our uh, redoing history series soon. It's our What Ifs History channel. It was our What If History series, but I'm renaming it Redoing History. And we will be, uh, well, I will give y'all an ask y'all which part in history do y'all think could have actually been a major change. So uh, please keep your eyes out for our community poll so that way you can actually know when the well, it comes up, because we will be doing that community poll probably the last two videos of the Gallo Glass. So, yeah. And that means I got only four more to go before we get to the redoing series. So, hopefully, y'all can catch us very soon on it. Anyways, guys, this is the Celtic Templar. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Have a great day, y'all.